welcome to the vlog welcome to another day it is wednesday evening it's about 5 30 i think it's like almost 6 p.m i am in the kitchen i am about to get cracking on the last bit of painting that needs to be done in here so just like this far side of the kitchen behind the fridge couldn't remember what a fridge was called there for a second but i have a question for you let me know in the comments what you think about this because I'm not sure if it's too much wood, too much brown. So let me know what you think. I brought this mirror down from my office. I thought it might be nice to put a mirror here um, just because it is a small kitchen and it kind of reflects even more light and maybe makes the space a little bit bigger. And I also thought it was nice because we have lots of natural wood tones on this side of the kitchen. So with this hutch, um, and our chairs and our table. And then over on this side of the kitchen, we really didn't have anything, um, like aside from this wicker basket that holds all of our dish towels, tea towels, that kind of thing. So I thought this would be nice to kind of tie in with this side of the room a little bit better. So I'll show you the mirror up close. So originally I was gonna put our magnetic knife strip here. I think what I wanna do is I wanna put this mirror mounted on this wall and then put our knife strip here. That's the best place for it because this is normally where I chop all the food and then like I'm right by the stove and I don't really want to mount the knife block there or here or on the fridge. So I think this <laughs> little area is the next best place for our knives and I have kind of a fun idea for them. So this is the magnetic knife strip and we had it mounted on a just like a slightly bigger piece of knotty pine before and it was up here if you watch back some of my previous vlogs you can see what that looked like it's a little too rough I don't really like the tone of that wood and I want something that I can wipe down that I can keep clean a little bit better and just something a little bit prettier so right now Sean in the basement is gluing two pieces of MDF together to make them about this thickness we got this piece of trim and what i envision we'll see if it works out but what i'm imagining is he's going to cut that those two pieces of mdf boards that are glued together he's going to cut them to make a base just slightly bigger than this magnetic strip and then he's going to use this to trim it out kind of like a picture frame on the wall right here and then i'm going to paint the base and this trim in the wall color and then mount the magnetic strip on it. That's the plan for now. We'll see if we like it when it's all said and done, but um, this little project cost under $14 to do. I already have the paint and the caulking for it, so it's inexpensive if it ends up not working out, but that's the vision <laughs> for now. up a super quick and easy dinner for us it's just gonna be like a makeshift charcuterie situation so I'm gonna do red pepper hummus with carrots some mushrooms some yellow bell pepper I'm gonna add some pickled uh, yellow beans to that and some normal pickles and then I have <laughs> I've been eating this Sean is picking up some bourse some soft cheese we have this old cheddar that I'm gonna do we have the salami and uh, some gluten-free crackers so that's gonna be dinner tonight so that we can hop right into work all right guys it is 11 30 at night <laughs> on Wednesday and Sean just finished this I've just been um, caulking a few little bits of trim that still needed it and he just finished building our um, magnetic knife strip or the base for it I guess I should say so I still need to paint it he still needs to mount it but that's what it's gonna look like and it's all gonna be the wall color Now for the maiden voyage.
Love it. And it'll Hot, be... sweet day. <laughs> Well, not for you, but for me. I think the last time I picked up the camera was maybe last Wednesday or Thursday. It is now the following Tuesday. It's Tuesday, August 20th, I believe. Um, I'm in the middle of my work day. I'm just going to take a quick break and film a little clean with me. So I'm going to go throw some comfy clothes on and film that before I get back to work and finish my work day. But I thought I would wrap up this video um, with a quick little overview of what the kitchen looks like now. Uh, that the cabinets are finished so pretty much everything is finished and I'm just gonna give you a quick little mini tour um, you'll have to excuse the noise I have the dishwasher on and our sink is full um, we had people over last night so I'm just kind of still cleaning up from that so aside from the mess here is what our fresh new kitchen looks like okay so there's still a lot left to do but I'm just gonna quickly just give you kind of a little tour so this is what we're looking like right now as you know if you've watched my previous videos the baseboard situation has greatly improved they still make me very happy <laughs> um, the layout in here is still exactly the same as it was before I've been working here today so that's why all my stuff is here Sean thrifted this meat grinder so he's gonna clean it up and he really wants to put it on this shelf over here and that's fine. I'm gonna let that happen. <laughs> um, again, we have a bit of a mess. We had people over last night, so I have to take out our recycling. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like, all that color. I still need to do the inside of this shelf. Um, I did like the outside, but you can see like the inside of the shelf is still kind of a very bright white. So that still needs to be done. Um, but I think Sean's gonna get a, bit, a little bit of a makeover and then I'm gonna paint it. So I'm gonna hold off on that. Nothing here has really changed since my last video except the cabinets are now done, which I did film a few clips of. I'm really, really happy with how they turned out. Over here, like normally, there aren't dishes normally. <laughs> the um, blender is put away. I just have this little plant over here to clary, to clary, to carry my blue theme through this side of the kitchen. And then I ended up putting this mirror here. I think I asked you guys' opinion earlier in some earlier clips. I still wanna know, do you think I should keep that there? Do you think I should put a piece of art there? Do you think there should be nothing there? Do you think it actually makes the kitchen look a little bigger? Because in my mind, it kind of does. <laughs> Anyways, let me know what you think. And then I'm really, really liking our little revamped knife block magnetic knife strip situation. I'm really, really happy. Um, I ended up caulking around the edges just to make it look like it was kind of a permanent thing. And then it took three coats of the wall color paint, which if you haven't watched my previous videos, the wall color is uh, Benjamin Moore Navajo White. We, uh, <laughs> we finally bought replacement outlet covers and switch covers for the ones that I broke. And then here's what this side of the kitchen looks like all painted. So I ended up painting the range hood as well. Now I would really like to get some brass knobs to replace those guys so that it kind of matches our hardware a little bit better. Um, don't mind the pork defrosting for dinner. These guys are all done. I'm very, very happy. The baseboard down here still needs to be touched up, but Sean actually needs to nail it in there a little bit better. And then I painted all up there. This is all done. And then this shelf area, I'm still, I think I wanna kind of redo how I've put everything up there. Uh, nothing has really changed though. I did, this is a new addition. I got this brass bowl from our superstore here, which is just like an extension of our Loblaws grocery store. Um, I thought that was cute to put our onion and garlic in. It seems to be working well for that purpose and kind of ties in with the hardware a little bit better. So I am thrilled with that. <laughs> but yeah, other than that, nothing really has changed too much. It's just brighter and fresher and everything's been 
cleaned up a little bit. So it just looks a little more finished in here. We're very happy with it. Um, if you haven't watched my previous two vlogs, I will put them up on the screen here so that you can check out the progress and see how we did everything. Check out the paint color, all that good stuff. And let me know what you guys think.